Okay, this will be a very quick tutorial on a new setup of Windows 8 or 8.1. How to get it set up properly and to have a regular start menu so you don't have the splash screen. Uh, first, you just want to open up the default web browser. Go nightnight.com. And with this here website, you can install multiple apps at once. I prefer Google Chrome browser. One needs some other utilities like Image Burn. Um, classic start that there is for the Windows 7 style start menu. VLC player uh, that has about every Kodak there is for watching almost every type of show. You can go ahead and do Java, Silverlight, WinRAW. Uh, GIMP is a good editor. Sometimes people like Inkscape as well. Uh, Acrobat Reader. Avast is a very good antivirus. I'll also show you how to set it up. Malwarebytes is very good as well. And I think I'll also go ahead and install OpenOffice on this hair computer. It's going to be my video editing computer, uh, redoing everything, almost over my lung cold. And let's see if there's anything else I need in here. Uh, Steam for video games. And I believe that's about all I really need at the moment. Uh, you go ahead and click Get Installer. It'll prompt you to run it or save it. You can just run it because it's just a very small file. It itself will download the files and install them. And I'll let this run through here real quick. And I'll be right back to you right after this is this here part's done. Okay, after that is done, you can close it on out. You can open up the VAS. You can get it set up real quick. Just click register. Free version works well. If you really like it, you support them with the paid for version. Just register it with any email address. Uh, then click on settings. I like to turn on silent mode so that way it's not talking to you in the middle of the night. And click on tools and customize software updater. So I don't want no messages popping up at all. Same with the grind fighter. After you get those removed, then that's it for Vast. Uh, and now you have your start menu as well, that downloaded as well. You can right click and click on settings to have it Windows 7 style, different type of styles. You can put skins on it if you prefer. Many other types of things. Sorry about my dog in the background. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this quick tutorial. Uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.